everyone oh, welcome back so today what we're going to do is we're going to try an at home facial kit by lotus herbals here so i was basically out with my mom at a departmental store and i realized i haven't had the chance to get a facial since march like i'm someone who gets a facial done every single month and that is how i can actually maintain my skin with so much makeup that i use that is when it struck that i literally should give this at home facial a try and i also wanted to share it with you guys and tell you how i feel about it so you guys can also give an at home facial a try because i am sure with the pandemic situation still evolving every single day we are very very scared to go out and probably get treatments like these done from somebody else but why should we have to compromise on how we make our skin feel right so if you would like to see how this facial kit performs please continue watching but before that please do not forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell because it would really really help me out a lot and i would really really appreciate it now without further blabbering let's jump right into the video how gorgeous is the packaging by the way i absolutely love the gold packaging and those gold accents all over they look really really beautiful so this facial kit retails for 1250 rupees so here on the front it says that it is suitable for all skin types which i think is a really really great thing for the price that you are paying and on the back we have all the four products the first one is the exfoliating cleanser then we have the radiant gold activator and then we have the massage cream with gold leaves in it and the last product is the gold mask so the active natural ingredients in this facial in all the four products are 24 karat gold leaves papaya and horse chestnut extracts so the first step that we are supposed to be following is obviously the exfoliating cleanser which is supposed to be applied on moistened skin and in circular motions on the face and neck and you need to rinse thoroughly and then move on to the step 2 which is the radiant gold activator which needs to be applied on the face and neck and you need to massage it for about 2 to 3 minutes and without wiping this activator off we will quickly jump on to the step 3 which is the massage cream which needs to be massaged on to the face and the neck for about 10 to 15 minutes for best results and then if we have any excess cream that can just quickly be removed with the damp cloth post which you need to apply your radiant gold mask and leave it until it dries and just wash it off so now let's just unbox this beautiful package and see what all we have inside so this is how the products look from the inside i really like the size of all the four products i am sure you can use this facial kit more than once which makes it even more economical so here we have the cleansing scrub then we have the activator then we have the massage cream and here we have the mask so let's just quickly jump right in and start moving on to each of the products one by one 
Now before I even think about touching my face with my hands, I am going to be sanitizing my hands even though I just wash them because it's super super important and it is not just because of the COVID situation here, you really need to make sure that you're not touching your face with any kind of germs. So once it is all once my hands are all dried up, I am firstly going to make sure that I do not have any excess dirt or you know any excess oils on my face. So I'm just going to use some micellar water. Here I'm using the Bioderma. Now because I'm filming in my studio here, it is really kind of difficult for me to dampen my face at this point. So what I would be doing is I, I would be using a rose toner mist and I would just dampen and moisten my face with that. But you can obviously when you're doing it at home, you can easily just you know dampen and just rinse your face once and then move on to the exfoliator. Now that I have my face all drenched in this rose water, we are going to start with the cleansing scrub. Cleansing in circular motions. Now before any of you ask me, I purchased this kit while I went to a departmental store near my house it has some beautiful pearls and scrubbing particles which are not very harsh which is something that is really good because in this in these kind of physical scrubs i at times really feel that these scrubs can be kind of very very harsh do not forget to go around your nostrils because um, so I basically have a very, very thin nose but for people who have kind of a little bigger nostrils a lot of gunk can be deposited around your nose which really needs to go away and because I have this active acne I am just trying to not scrub right on top of it do not use a very very hard pressure and because physical scrubs can kind of tear the skin off if you use a very very hard pressure so now i would just quickly go and rinse it off and uh, be right back i'm just going to pat dry my face I won't say it's a drastic difference with just a scrub, but let's see how the step two forms. So now we're gonna move on to the activator. Those gold specks in this. Five to seven drops of the radiant gold activator need to be massaged for about two to three minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up a timer for three minutes. So we actually know that we are doing what we are supposed to. And now I'm going to take about two, three, four, five, six, and seven drops, warming it up. This feels really good on the skin <laughs> again circular motions so it doesn't say anything that we are about to, we are supposed to be using it around our eyes or not so I'm just going to because it doesn't warn us I am going to take it very very lightly around my eyes as well and again massaging it in circular motions and I'm going to move, do these upward strokes to make sure that 
the skin feels lifted taking it in upward strokes whether or not it does anything it feels good and I'm all for it I do have some scrub particles left on my face even though I literally rinsed it thrice but doesn't concern me but if it does concern you you should probably rinse it once more and we have about 30 more seconds left I kind of want to take a bit more because I think my skin because it's very very because my skin is very very dry I think I need a little more to be able to at least massage it so I'm going to take about four more drops that is it and again warming it up and resuming the timer and that was the timer complete so I'm just going to keep massaging it till it is a little more absorbed so now I'm going on to step three which is this massage cream and this is how the packaging looks it is a glass jar which obviously makes it look super luxe and this is how the cream looks from the inside so it's a yellowish in color I'm sure you cannot see that yellow tint but it is quite yellow so the cream doesn't really have any visible gold leaves or something like that but it's just the golden color of the cream so now that I've applied the activator and massaged it really well into the skin my skin feels very very supple so that is something that you really need to note down <laughs> okay so moving on to step three we're going to move on to this cream and here I have my wooden spatula that I usually like to dip into my skincare products because I do not really like to you know dip in my fingers into my cream jars so I'm just going to take about this much again take it in my palm warm it up super super thick can you see how well this is foaming up because again it is not a normal moisturizer it is your facial massage cream ignore whatever i have in my hair right now please ignore my facial expressions because those would definitely be super disgusting right now so i'm just going to massage in upward directions to make sure I have a lot of blood circulation going on so since the texture of the cream is like super thick I wouldn't suggest uh, the oilier skin types to put on like uh, multiple layers of the cream but enough I'm going to take some more but enough so that you basically have your hands moving on around the face because if you do not have enough massage that's like an ASMR right now if you do not have enough cream you will not be able to really massage your face very well I miss my facial sessions so much and because of this pandemic situation I haven't had the courage to go and get my facial done though I go to Gitanjali and all the staff there has been wearing PPE kits but still 
I haven't had the courage to just be, you know, all about those. Do not forget your neck, okay? That is really important. Right from the neck to the upper cheek. Massage, massage till your hands cry for help. So now what I'm going to do is I am also going to take this on my eyes so I can just massage around my eyes as well. So I'm just going to take some more, just like one scoop, huge scoop. Since I'm super dry, you do not need to take this much cream, believe me, because it's like super duper thick. Again, warming it up. I'm going to be going clockwise and anti-clockwise. I think my brows look crazy at this point, but I look scary, <laughs> but that is what the facial kit asks us to do and that is what we will do because I'm all about that glow right now. I've been craving it. My skin has been super dull all this while and I need all the glow that I can get. Have you guys used like Lotus products before? What are your views about it? So I was basically with my mom at a departmental store and I saw this facial kit lying there. And I thought, since I'm not really able to, you know, go and get my facial done, I should probably just do this at home and see how it you know turns out to be is it really worth it and that is when i thought i would even do this on camera so you guys can see for yourself if you guys would like to invest in this kind of a product and at this point i'm going to be introducing my jade roller into this session and taking this upwards again The moment I put this on my forehead and I just massage it, it just feels so good. If you haven't really tried a facial roller before, you guys are definitely missing out on life because you know it's something that you should really, really try and do because it just makes sure that your blood flows really well. My hand is slipping, so I'm just going to hold it a little more tighter. And now I'm going to take this smaller roller stone, massage it in upward direction. I know I'm holding my roller crazily at this point and that is just because my hands are really slipping. I'm going to use it on my brows as well. My brows look so crazy. So I'm just going to get rid of all the excess and be right. So I'm just going to take like a damp cloth and get rid of the excess. So my skin feels super soft at the moment and super supple as well. And now let's just see how the mask performs because I am kind of the most excited about that. It 
kind of looks like a sandalwood mask if you know what I mean. It just looks like sandalwood. Okay, so I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it. More like a clay mask, that's what the texture feels like. And since it feels like a clay mask, I am not going to go very near to my eyes. My skin has already started to tingle a bit. And if you are a dry skin type like me, I'm sure you would agree with me that whenever we apply clay masks, it can get really, really tingly you know just because it feels like a clay mask i did put it on my active acne and it's burning man it's burning like a lot oh, I'm so now i'm just going to let it dry and be back to show you how it looks do you guys like all those mask selfies How cool does this look? By the way, did you guys try out my Instagram filter? I kind of really need to show you. So right now you have some four freckles, liner, and that inner pop of pink eyeshadow. I tap it on, I get rid of the freckles. Again, I tap it on, I just have the liner. Then I just have the lashes. And you also have a slider here to adjust how those lips look like. Can you see? I'm also going to take some more pictures. And if you guys use my filter, I would absolutely love to know. Do not forget to use my filter and tag me on Instagram stories. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm gonna leave my handle down here and do subscribe because the latest videos and makeup looks and all of that jazz comes up on Instagram first. So I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram too then. All right, so I'm just going to let it dry and be right back in a minute. So now the mask is all dry and I cannot really open my mouth. So I'm again just going to use my damp towel. I know it's super dirty right now. But I'll just remove it and then we'll just wash it off. Be really gentle with this particular step because it can really... So now that I have the mask completely removed, I just rinsed it off once and pat dried my face. And because I'm super, super dry skin and we are moving into winters, my skin tends to be even more drier in the winters. And therefore, I would definitely be doing some post facial, uh, post mask skincare basically. And since this mask was a clay mask, it definitely did make my skin a little more dry. And therefore, I am just going to put on some hyaluronic acid. And today I'm going to be using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. I'm going to take the complete pump. this one does make your skin a little sticky but i absolutely love the effect that it has on my skin it is amazing and for my moisturizer because we've already put on so much on our skin today i'm going to use the simple lightweight moisturizer
how juicy does my skin look right now i absolutely love this moisturizer even it, though it says it's a lightweight moisturizer even my dry skin girls out there can definitely use this and if you're an oilier skin type you would absolutely love this one because it is actually very very lightweight and right now because i used like a load of it my skin feels super juicy and super moist but if you're an oilier skin type you can definitely take like a little less and be all good with it see it's already sinking into the skin because believe me that is how dry i am now that the moisturizer has completely sinked in i'm going to do one last step actually two more last steps so i am definitely going to put on some facial oil and today i am using the pixie jasmine oil blend just warming it up and pressing it into the skin and believe me this is what i want my skin care to do make my skin look super juicy and this is what i absolutely love we have the facial all done and my hair looks super oily because that is how it always looks when i just come out of a facial session so for my final reviews i just want to tell you guys that i did enjoy the facial kit the products are they really do perform and especially for the price point it is absolutely wonderful uh if i talk about the scrub my face did feel squeaky clean after my scrubbing then we moved on to the activator which i absolutely loved because it did make my skin feel super soft and super supple so it's kind of like your serums right before your moisturizer that is how it is so that is what your activator does it just kind of preps up your skin for the heavy massage cream that you're about to use and the massage cream did definitely definitely perform and made my skin very very nourished because i did did load up on it there is no doubt about it and if you're a dry skin type you would definitely love this particular step because it would make your skin so soft and so juicy that you will love it and for the last step if i talk about the fourth step that was the mask it was really good and especially if you're an oilier or combination skin type you would totally love this but since it was more like a clay mask um for me and for other dry skin girls out there you might just feel that it just made your skin a little more dry and that is why i did load up on my moisturizer and my facial oil post the mask but otherwise it definitely does you know kind of cleans up your face and makes your pores or all, all clean and you know dust and dirt free all in all this facial the radiant gold facial kit by lotus herbals is definitely worth a try especially during this pandemic season when we are really really kind of scared to get our facials done and for me it had been really a while since i actually you know got my facial done and my skin needed that pamper session and that is why the moment i saw this i just knew i had to get my hands on this and give this one a shot and believe me i am not at all disappointed uh i really think that um 
you guys would really really enjoy this and i will see you guys in my next one and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and hit that notification bell it would mean the absolute world to me and i would be so so thankful to each one of you and always know that i love you guys so much and i really really want to be absolutely 100% honest and transparent with you and that is what i want to do here so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next one Mwah.